what would you say to the person that thinks they're a pretty good closer when in reality they could really be a lot better? So it's like, how do you get past that, that ego wall of, Hey, I think I'm pretty, I think I'm pretty good. Right. Yeah. Uh, you know, I love this question because I'm running into this obstacle myself, right? How do you sell something sales training to a person who feels like they don't need it? And ultimately at the end of the day is we got to figure out, you know, let's talk about your last three appointments. How did it go? Like that you didn't close. How did it go? Where do you think it went off the rails? And usually they can't tell you. They can't tell you what where it went, went off the rails, right? But then we're going to talk about, well, how much money do you think it cost you not closing those sales? And now we're going to find some real pains. Like, okay, so we can close that. What could that do for your own personal life? What could that do for your family? What could it do for your business? If you can close these additional sales. So um, I can't logically explain to a person who is potentially uncoachable why they're not that, as good at sales as, as they think they are. All we can do is identify how much it's costing them, not closing more sales. And then at that time, they can figure out, like, wouldn't it make sense to maybe just try a thing or two to get better at your craft so that you can close more sales, so that you can take more time off your family, you can go on vacation, you can add this other thing to your business, this investment you've been wanting to make, now you can finally pursue it. We'll sell them emotionally, but I, I don't think you can intellectually convict, uh, convince a person who thinks they're a good salesperson uh, because if you try to explain it to them logically, it's, I don't think it's going to work. That makes sense.